guys, I'm Jay Boyd and my husband Robert. Um, sa video na to, gusto kong i-share kung paano or anong ginagawa namin to apply merge visa in German Embassy. <music> So, first step, papuntahin nyo yung mga partner nyo sa Standy Sam para may apply ang yung marriage. Tapos, binigyan siya ng mga requirements na kailangan kong i-comply o ito submit dito sa DE. Yung requirements of examination. So, first is the birth certificate from PSA. Second is the PSA Sinomar or the Certificate of Singleness. Third is passport size, two pieces, and then one whole body picture, 13 by 18 centimeter, and then consent of checking documents by the document holder for me. So you can download the form in the website in um, German Embassy Manila. And then you can sign in and then you can attach also to submit in Germany. Then next is um, declaration in English language signed by the holder for me. So it's um, available also in website in German Embassy. You can download PDF. And then include a birth certificate of my siblings, my sister's birth certificate, my brother's birth certificates, and then marriage contract of my parents and then yeah death certificate of my father and then um, baptismal certificate of me and then elementary school permanent record or the form 137 and then the declaration of addresses for minor it's available also in um, PDF but uh, but uh, for my case, I don't need because I'm not minor. And then two passports picture of my parents or my mama. And then the documents is the bull mark. Um, it's like authorization that I am um, okay that only Robert can um, manage or to apply there to do some requirements, something like that. And then in behalf of me. And then um, my passport copy also, my the bolt match, bolt marked, and then the affidavit of single nest. Uh, we get these two in, in Standisam, and then I went to Manila to German Embassy to authenticate these three documents. And then next is um, I go to GKS or German Knowledge Extract Centrum in Cebu. Um, I study German A1 and then uh, two months um, March, April, then May is review and then June 2 is exam so June 2 exam then after in the night I got um, email that uh, I pass so I got this certificate of A1 OSD um, uh, I got the uh, GKS exam. Uh, I got uh, the certificate. Oh, is the certificate A1 and this one also the ID card that I pass A1. And then, and then I got 82 points at out of 100 points. Then in this listen or reading. Uh, maximum of 30 I got 28 and then Huren or listening I got 26 over 30 and then Triven or written I got 10 over 15 and then um, Shrishen so oral and then one by one interview uh, maximum of 25 points and I got 18 points so I'm low in Shrishen after in school I submit all the requirements that I collect um, before the list of examination documents and additional documents I submit um, to study some in Germany.
here in Germany and then through DHL so the payment is almost 2,600 um, something like that and then yeah next step uh, we do is um, waiting for the um, CI CI is just to check your checking information in my place in Masin you go in um, you go in City Hall you go in Barangay in my school you check if my documents are authentic not fake and then yeah interview just chica chica lang on 18 i go to manila for authentication at german embassy the remarks affidavit of statement of personal data and the passport copy then june 12 i submit all the requirements i have in germany through dhl and then june 18 uh, robert submit in the standard sum my requirements and then july 12 um embassy asked me for additional documents of um, marriage certificate of my mama because I submit the marriage certificate from church and then they said not sufficient so I get the marriage certificate in the LCR the local registry office in Asin City then that day July 12 I submit in embassy and they receive in three days after then August 8 the conduct um, CI or the checking of information or checking of the documents and then yeah August and waiting and then November uh, November 12 I sent appointment for interview in German Embassy and then they sent me message or email that um, the reference number and then waiting for the second email for the date of interview and then German Embassy sent message or second email in November 28 15 my interview I have um, I got uh, 8.15 yeah 8.15 uh, time for my interview so 7.30 I've been there in German Embassy in Manila in Makati um, in RCBC yeah, 25th floor I guess if not mistaken and then um, interview while waiting for my visa I attend CFO or the guidance counseling guidance and counseling certificate at Commission on Filipino overseas. If you want to stay abroad, you need to attend this certificate or uh, this counselor interview. March 26, 2019, I sent uh, email in German embassy to up to follow up my visa application, and then they reply immediately. One hour one hour after, they sent message that visa approved. And then April 25, I got this sticker, and then. Uh, I stayed there and then Robert also he visited the Philippines and then um, April 28 is my departure in Cebu to Dubai Dubai to Munich Germany so August no April 29 I arrived here in Munich and together with this man this man this man this man this man this man and then yeah after that uh, said city in the city 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 and in May 21 we got married 21 my 2019 that's it thank you for watching and have a good day bye bye congratulations if you wish you may offer one letter kiss <laughs>